Fisher, we need to find out if Displace and Zerkazy are working together. But until we know, you want me to keep it quiet. Don't kill anyone or I'll abort the mission. The Pentagon has contracts with Displace all around the world. The President will have puppies if he finds out we're doing this. to request protection at that level from the National Guard, I agree. But let's face it, the National Guard is a massive, cumbersome organization. Sure, that's what we need, a presence. On the contrary, the people want protection, they need protection, but they don't want to see protection. It frightens them. Having the National Guard on every corner will keep the peace, but at what cost? They'll get over it, Julian. In the end, the thing they'll remember is that the National Guard is cheap. I'm dealing with taxpayers here. The last thing I need is another fiscal accountability scandal. Hmm. What? Come on, I want to show you something. That executive. He probably has the daily access algorithm for the displaced central servers stored on his laptop. Lambert gave me pretty strict non-lethal parameters. If you stay close, you should be able to hack into his laptop wirelessly. I'll give it a whirl. In the lobby of the Empire State Building, there are four brass rondelles, Art Deco pieces. Each rondelle represents one of the four disciplines of skyscraper and Good work, Sam. Now you'll be able to access the central server on the first floor. This wireless stuff makes life a lot easier. Yep. Welcome to the Wi-Fi era. Remember, you're saying that to a guy from the era of Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi? As in, like, high in fiber? <sighs> Don't put me in adult undergarments yet, kid. They can't do their jobs without. So. Well, you're worried about the cost, huh? 
you're worried about what the taxpayer will think. But it's a mistake to think that those two things are fundamentally tied together. Stairs are cheaper than elevators, Tom. Why don't we have stairs as the fourth discipline of skyscraper construction? No one is gonna take the stairs up 70 stories. And does anyone ever question how much an elevator costs? Of course not. Right. And I'll tell you why. Because the cost of an elevator isn't measured by what you get. It's measured by what you avoid. This place is expensive, Tom. I mean, there's no denying that. But it's not important how much it costs to hire us. What's important is how much it costs not to hire us. A bunch of good old boys from the Appalachians with M4s in every street corner, I mean, yeah, sure, it'll get the job done. But in the end, relying on the National Guard is like taking the stairs. If you want to keep those five million executives going to work every day, I suggest you take the elevator. Hmm. Huh. Well, you maybe got a point there, Julian. Of course I have a point. Let's go talk to Mikey. Sam, each of Displace's different divisions seem to have their own server farm. I put a program on your OPSAT that will build a little back door into their networks. You want me to upload that to each division server? I would appreciate it. Since you asked so nice.
Good work, Sam. That's the first of their servers. If you can upload that to each of the other ones, I'll be able to snoop around as much as I please. I'll see what I can do. Hey, NASA just reported the astronauts on the ISS got their life support back online. So they're gonna make it? Well, probably not. But at least they have time to attempt a rescue. The shuttle? Yeah, NASA is working to repair the rocket assembly. They think they might be able to launch in time. What about the Chinese rescue? I guess we don't need them anymore. <laughs> well, here's hoping nothing else goes wrong. Sam. Upload that program to the last server and you'll make me the happiest girl in the world. You're easy to please. Access is a girl's best friend.
It's a pretty cushy posting, that's for sure. But I heard the guy was really annoying. And the guy isn't there anymore. He's out of town. What, so you're just watching his stuff? <laughs> yeah. Emptying his liquor cabinet and playing video games. He's got the new Prince of Persia. Yeah? I heard it's awesome. Gonna be game of the year, man. Can't wait to play it. coming up. I forgot. You forgot? How could you forget? Ah, you know, I've been putting in crazy hours. I don't even know what day it is. Mm, yeah, I know what you mean. Me and Anne Marie are gonna head up to Maine, stay in a little bed and breakfast, eat some lobster. Do they have power back in Maine yet? Power? Whoa, I forgot about that. <laughs> How could you forget? There's got to be a way through to the server room from this area. Firing ranges usually have ventilation to clear the smoke. It probably ties into the AC system for the server room. Good thinking. Totally forgot. Okay, okay, 
this time I got it for sure. Hot, neutral ground. Got it all sorted out. I'm gonna sort you out if you don't open that damn door. No, I mean it. Bingo! Bingo? Uh, okay. That's not my fault. That's definitely caused by the black. Damn! It looks like someone has shunted the data we need off the server. Login name M. Nedich. Mylon Nedich? That name is coming up an awful lot, but we still don't have anything on him. Probably a pseudonym. I'll see if I can find out who he really is. In any case, we need to get access to his computer. His office should be on the upper floor somewhere. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but... I see it. Power's coming back on. I see it, Grim. You got company. You might want to... I see it. Want to check the server and make sure nothing got fried when the power came back on. Okay. Give a shout if you need anything. I've been hearing some creepy stuff about Mylon. I'm sure I trust him. Yeah. I heard he got drunk with some of the guys in Istanbul last month. He wandered out of the bar looking for a fight. They found him the next morning covered in blood. What? Yeah. Stan thinks he killed someone. Read a newspaper article the next day. Istanbul police found some guy cut to ribbons just a couple of blocks from the bar they were at. Whoa. I think we should try and get on his PC in the executive offices, see if we can find anything. The code to the area is 2346, but I don't know the code for his actual office. All right. Well, if I find out what it is, we'll go together. All right.
huh? What was that? Nothing here. Never hurts to check. Hokkaido. Hokkaido, isn't that basically the Alaska of Japan? Yeah, looks like Mylon Nedich has secretly relocated Zerkezi there. Interesting. Now we definitely need to talk to Shetland. We'll let State Department handle that mess. You're going to Hokkaido. We're sending a helicopter to evac you from the roof. Sorry to bring you in here so late. We need to put some extra men on the Zerkezi detail. Your name came. Zerkezi? The wacko in the penthouse uptown? Well, it's perhaps best not to refer to our client as the wacko, but yes, him. Or rather, his penthouse. Milo's Nowak is, uh... Who? Milon. Milon Nedich. Crazy Slavic names. I always get them confused. Anyway, Zerkezi is out of town, so there won't be a VIP, just the property. Okay. Sounds like a breeze. Well, it hasn't gone perfectly smooth so far. You'll get the full VIP rate, and you'll be on duty as though there is a package on site. Okay. Got it. Good. 
You reported 1,300 tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. Good grab, Fisher. Mylon Nedich's real name? Jesus. Milos Nowak. Milos Nowak? Who is he? The Barber of Bosnia. Suspected war criminal from the Bosnian conflict. Allegedly scalped some of his prisoners. Wanted in The Hague? Yeah. Bet you dollars the dinars that he doesn't make it to trial. That's okay. I think my money's safer on the Nikkei. <laughs>